Are you alright, my darling? You still look a little uneasy from the flight. <laughs> I told Gurion to not get too wild, but his wide smile is a clever mask for his wickedness. Thankfully, you did not fall, thanks to my arms wrapped tightly around you. <laughs> my, how I will never tire of your blushing face. <laughs> Oh? It felt strange to you. In what way? In a nice sort of way? <laughs> Do not give me that look. You know I mean that in jest. It felt like the arms of your beloved wrapped around you. Oh, perhaps... Perhaps a little of the memory that we experienced earlier has lingered over me. While it is certainly strange, we cannot idle any longer. Let us keep moving. Through the circle of fraud. Otherwise known as Melbog. Tell me, dear wanderer, does the geography remind you of anything? No? Oh well. I believe there is a great feat of mortal construction known as an amphitheatre. There are several similarities between this realm and that great marvel of architecture. That is why their screams echo so much. The sound is amplified by this funnel of ancient stones that make up this realm. Each of the deep, circular ditches contain a different kind of fraudulent sinner. From thieves to counterfeiters, all have their place here. Look, see that swaying bridge of rope, stone and wood? Yes, it is ancient, but can still be crossed if we are careful. That bridge goes over each of the ditches and slopes down into the centre like walking into a whirlpool, if the whirlpool was filled with screaming souls. But let us keep moving, while we have our renewed strength. You walk ahead, I will be behind to assist if you should stumble. I beg your pardon? Oh, the ditch we are crossing is filled with panderers and seducers, and the horned demons that take great pleasure in cracking their whips across wicked flesh. Why do you ask? I see that anger in your eyes. The same anger when you beheld Gurian's shifting face. What is wrong? Uh, wh what are you doing? Get back here! You, you cannot climb down there! <clears throat> no, I am not letting you go! Stop this! Now! We are wasting time with this foolishness. Please... Stop this. What has come over you? I, I have never seen you so enraged, so willing to throw yourself into more danger. I can feel your blood practically boiling. That wicked soul, the one staring up at us. You once knew that man? Yes. What is this? This 
Wait, it feels as though my heart has been wrapped in briars. Why, why am I starting to weep? That, that is impossible. Our pact has become so strong that we now share the same emotions. All my former thralls saw our pact as just an arrangement, with some pleasurable perks thrown in, but still just a means to an end. But you consider me a friend, and one of the purest forms of true friendship is empathy. Absolute empathy. You mortals continue to surprise me. Then, in order for us to proceed, for you to rise to your feet and keep moving forward, explain what happened. Why we feel this fury running through our veins, this fathomless sorrow in our hearts. Tell me, dear friend, what happened? A lie, a lie so cruel, so selfish, that it destroyed everything you held dear. That soul, the one suffering in that pit, he was once a fellow soldier. A best friend for many years, but he coveted your beloved above all else. You were on a mission together during that great and terrible war. There was an accident, a cliffside, and he, he looked you in the eye and let you fall. I feel those broken bones, that sweat and blood running down your face, fighting for your life, to get back, back to her. Your commander took the soldier's word, despite the lack of evidence. Everyone believed that you were dead. It's shifting, this vision. I, I see that beautiful home. Your beautiful home. With your beautiful beloved inside. She, she's weeping, and your former friend, he's holding her hand, but she pulls away from him. Time passes, days and nights, countless, countless nights alone, and still she sits and weeps. He offers her kind words, but she does not hear them. And one day, she stops weeping. Calmly, she walks to the apple tree outside. And the light from the sunset turns her necklace of rope 
to a chain of gold and red. This poor woman, this poor, poor woman, your beloved, she took her own life in the hopes of being reunited with you in heaven, but she ended up down here. Uh, I am... I'm so sorry. Come, come here, let me hold you. <sighs> there is nothing more to be done about what has come to pass. That lying, selfish wretch clearly met his own well-deserved, unfortunate end. But her soul is still intact. I can feel it. She is waiting for you, and you almost have your arms around her again. Now take my hand, dry your tears. We are almost there. We just need to make our way over this bridge one step at a time. Did you feel that? That ice cold breeze. He, he is granting us passage, past the other sinners, past the titans that guard the final gate. The Morning Star is expecting us, he is welcoming us.